I, uh, I went back home this week, you know, focused hard on this weekend, and uh, you know, I was able to put it together for a good start. I had uh, some luck at the beginning with a couple of crashes, but uh, you know, I hung in there and I started with wicked the whole time, you know, all 20 laps, where everybody has faded, so I was pretty happy about that. I wasn't comfortable actually after practice yesterday. I, I knew it was going to be a long weekend. You know, that that's part of 250 Supercross and in any competition or sport. It, uh, you know, they, they don't hand these wins away. And tonight was definitely a, a hard night for me. This track, um, for me, I, I think the, the harder you rode, the slower you went. And uh, I, was, I was trying to push it too hard at the beginning and uh, get a big lead. And I had, I had some bad lines through the whoops, definitely. You know, I got, got sideways and, and a little out of control, but, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda. But uh, I held on to it and was able to squeak by another win. You know, uh, hats off to David. He, he rode good. It's surprising to, to, to see how well he did, and uh, he, he didn't race last week. But, uh, you know, I hope he gets better, and let's, let's let this thing go down to Vegas. I'm definitely uh, not getting any breaks, that's for sure. And, uh, you know, other than last weekend, I haven't, I haven't got a break. And Stefan pulled through for me this week, but, uh, you know, David, David was nursing an injury, and so I had the upper hand this weekend, and, and hopefully next weekend I will too. Uh, I'm just trying to concentrate on myself, you know. If I start worrying about somebody else, that's when I'm going to uh, run into problems. So if I just worry about myself, I, I think I can, I, I can do good. The rest uh, seven races left, I think. So I'm looking, good to, looking forward to going to Houston. I've always done well there at both of the Texas events. So. Uh, there in St. Louis, definitely like those two places. I just have to say, nice save on Tim Ferry. Oh. That could have been nasty, and he just saved. Oh, tonight. thanks. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was scary. I mean, he just went down so fast right in front of me, and there was nowhere I could go, and I almost ran over him. And luckily, I got on the on the brakes hard enough. It, it would, if I would have ran over him, it would have been nasty, because uh, I mean, yeah, I got. He got lucky, and I'm glad I got on the brakes hard enough because it it would have been not pretty for sure. Did you see what happened there when he went down? Yeah, he just he just lost his front end, and uh, he went down. It seemed like the, some of those corners were slipperier than they looked. Yeah, definitely. That's why I was saying, you know, you, I couldn't ride this track that hard, you know, around the turns and stuff because it was so slippery and had to you had to have a lot of throttle control out there today, and. Uh, that's what I did in the main event. You know, I, I couldn't ride hard. Every time I tried to push, Stefan would be catching me, and I'd slow down, and I would stay even. So I just, you know, they're all not going to be easy. So t tonight was a tough one. Were you aware of, in fact, say it was maybe a third through the race, and you had just pushed into the lead, and uh, maybe a lap or two after that, all of a sudden, David wasn't that far behind you. Were you aware? That, did you get any signals as to where to how close David was? I, I was keeping an eye on him, you know, and I just kind of had a, a feeling all night that he was going to do what he did. You know, he kind of just putted around in practice and in heat race, he, you know, kind of acted like he was not feeling up to par. And then I look back and he's on my tail and I kind of had a feeling that that was going to happen all night, but uh, I, I thought that he wasn't going to be able to go to 20 laps. But, uh, you know, it's just... When I look back and I seen him, it's like this is exactly what I thought. And you know, hats off to him. He rode good for sure. Definitely.